Day seven of my Irish coast cycle was an unplanned, disorganised one. Uh, basically going back to the coast below Drogheda at Betty's Town and then following it all the way down to Dublin. Now this is probably the most unpleasant part of the entire coastline I have cycled to date. Um, not because there aren't lovely beaches and estuaries and even some nice quiet roads, all of those exist, but there is an awful lot of busy, 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 fast moving roads as Dublin has extended outwards and often without infrastructure. There's also a nasty surprise at Gormanstown where if you carelessly look at a map you think you're going to be able to cycle right through on some quiet back roads but actually there's a military barracks there so the road doesn't run through. Now having got the giving out phase off my chest uh, there is a lot of beauty. There's Balbriggan, which we're just coming through here. In fact, there's this whole string of seaside towns that have expanded into a continuous strip of development, but now and again actually feel quite quiet and you feel you're out of the way again. Uh, there's also Loch Shinny, which is probably the most isolated of them. Uh, a single road runs down to where the harbour is. It's quite a steep descent. Um, Continuing down the coast you come to Rush, uh, once a big centre of market gardening around Dublin, but nowadays actually it's mostly housing, there's still a little bit of market gardening, also a strong family connection because my mother's family used to go out to Rush for the summer holidays and live in what to me sounds suspiciously like a, a shed built on a bit of squatted land, but she disagrees. Then there's Portran and in particular the jewel of a beach at Ladies Cove uh, which is a great uh, swimming spot, some great volcanic rock here in the water as well. Now the roads in this last section are particularly hellish, they're really busy, there's roundabouts, there's very little choices. Uh, but then we get to Portran uh, which has a, a very long beach looking across to Ireland's Eye. Uh, not safe for swimming in parts of it but there is a lifeguard hut. Also possibly one of the places you might get away with wild camping closest to the city centre. And from Portran we actually then start to get proper cycle paths into the city centre. The roads get maybe busy but the traffic's not moving so fast. Uh, and you get to Holt, an older picture of a, a solstice sunset at Thout, um and Ballisgraden Beach which is great for swimming if you start the whole Hoth walk off from this particular end of it. Um, coming around Hoth Head you're in Dublin Bay proper uh, and going back onto the head from the Sutton ends you've got a great Martello Tower. I think this is... And there's quite an impressive cliff walk that actually runs all the way around and then reconnects on the far end that we just came from with some great swimming spots. That Hoth Cliff Walk is really one of the great gems of living in Dublin. Uh, it's also accessible by the dart. You don't even need to cycle. It's quite a short cycle out from the city centre. Uh, and there is a, a cycle track that now runs all along the coast that gets you out there. Uh, there's uh, great views looking back across the Dublin and the bay. Uh, and then the Bull Island uh, marshlands. And then heading back in and taking a detour to Bull Island itself. Uh, walking to the end of that. And this is yet another swimming spot which I have swam even in the depths and coldest days of winter. But this got me back home. Uh, time to unpack. I'd ran up the first 6,000 kilometers on my e-bike. My first big experience of bike packing or cycle touring and it was pretty good. Enjoying these videos? Give the channel a follow so you get the rest of them. And do give this video a thumbs up. It helps get it out to more people.